Hey everyone, this is Phil, and today I want to talk to you about an 80-year-old compact camera. This is the Folklander Vito. So the Folklander Vito is a 35mm film camera uh, that folds up to protect the lens and uh, retract uh, the entire lens assembly via a bellows. So there's a, a little button on the bottom there, uh, and if you press that, it will fold up. Mine usually hangs a little when uh, extending the lens standard, uh, but as soon as you give it a little uh, tug on the front side, uh, it'll come to a perfectly level uh, position. I originally found this camera uh, when I was uh, shopping for a lens or a body uh, cap, I can't even remember, uh, in a small uh, used camera shop in Shinjuku. And uh, I saw this on display on the shelf uh, and just immediately caught my eye because it's such a beautiful camera. Uh, the Folklander Vito uh, was introduced in 1939 and uh, this is actually the first version of the camera uh, which ended up being a very long running uh, camera series. So Vito ended up being the standard uh, Folklander name for cameras uh, that have a fixed lens on 35mm film. Um, so there was a series of Vito cameras, a Vito 2, a Vito 3, uh, then there were um, several Vitomatic uh, cameras that had meters, uh, Vitessa cameras and what have you. Um, there's a lot of versions of this camera and this is the one that started it all. Um, this camera uh, comes with a uh, Compur um, shutter and there were uh, apparently also versions that had a uh, Synchro Compur or a uh, Compur Rapid uh, shutter um, which are the more advanced shutters. The version that I own, uh, which is the regular uh, Compur shutter, uh, comes with shutter speeds from uh, one second uh, to one three hundredth of a second. The lens on the Vito is a Scopar uh, lens that has a four uh, element uh, lens design uh, similar to a Tessar lens and uh, it has a aperture uh, of uh, f 3.5 uh, at a focal distance of uh, five centimeters or five, 15 millimeters. Uh, it comes with a hinged uh, moment yellow filter. Uh, obviously, um, this is not something that I use because I never shoot black and white, uh, but it honestly looks pretty cool. So uh, it's nice to have it on there. Uh, you just have to remember uh, to flip it down uh, once you have extended the lens standard um, or otherwise your shots will all be uh, quite tinted yellow. So the Vito uh, takes regular uh, 35 millimeter film, uh, but it was originally designed to take uh, unperforated 35 millimeter film, which would have given it a uh, image size of uh, 30 by 40 millimeters. So standard uh, 36 millimeter film uh, produces images that are 36 by uh, 24 millimeter. Um, and uh, by eliminating the perforation, it would have been possible to give it a 30 by 40 uh, size in the same dimensions. Uh, unfortunately, um, this change was right about to happen when the Second World War uh, erupted and uh, the plan to uh, make this uh, film format uh, was abandoned. So the Vito was redesigned uh, to include a sprocket hole uh, or a, a sprocket uh, on the film uptake spool, it's actually a, re a removable spool, which is pretty interesting, uh, that can take the perforated film. The Folklander Vito does not have a rangefinder. It does not have a light meter. It does not have strap locks. This is a perfect camera for people who are all about uh, film slowing you down. I normally hate uh, that expression, uh, I'm not really shooting film to slow myself down, or, although I gotta admit, uh, I do take less uh, images that I delete afterwards right away um, with film cameras that I do on digital, um, but that's not really what I shoot film for. Um, 
But uh, this camera uh, really does require you to think about everything. So I've got to admit, um, I bought this camera because it looks cool. Uh, I am, as you might have noticed, a big fan of folder cameras uh, and I am also a big fan of the uh, black and silver aesthetic that was very much uh, the norm at this uh, time in camera production. And I just uh, really, really like that uh, kind of camera. So um, that's why I bought it originally. Um, but I have also come to appreciate um, how compact this is. Uh, so it folds down. Um, and I think this is maybe the third most compact camera that I own uh, next to the Olympus X8 and uh, the uh, Fujifilm uh, Tiara. Um, I also really, really like the vintage uh, Vogtländer logo that is uh, in this little vignette on the uh, lens cover. Um, this really, really looks cool and uh, I really appreciate uh, the look and functionality of this camera. Unfortunately, it's not all roses when it comes to uh, the Vogtländer Vito. Not only uh, does it not have a, a rangefinder or a meter built in, uh, but there are some uh, mechanical problems that my uh, copy at least has, uh, and that might very well um, be related to the age that it has. So um, the first thing that you have to keep in mind when you're handling a focal in Vito is uh, that this actually has a uh, roller on the inside uh, that moves with the film advance. So uh, if you do not advance the film, uh, you cannot depress the shutter. So uh, if, you're, if you want to take a uh, test shot with a uh, video that you've found in a shop or that you've just acquired, make sure um, to advance that film roller on the inside uh, before you press the shutter, otherwise it will not work. Unfortunately, this uh, film advance roller also prevents you from shooting the very first shot on a roll. Um, so you will get 36 shots uh, out of a roll of film, uh, not anymore. I have also experienced uh, the shutter uh, locking down. And uh, while it's actually closed up uh, properly, it allows you to advance the film at infinitum. So. <laughs> It, you can actually uh, skip the next frame or the next 20 frames uh, if you're not careful. Um, the solution to this is just to keep pressing the shutter until it bounces, bounces back up. Um, so I think this is just uh, due to some of the springs in this uh, showing signs of age. Um, and it's unfortunate, uh, but it is uh, preventable if you watch what your, your uh, camera is doing. Um, so um, there are a few quirks um, that this camera uh, has shown uh, but the results that I've gotten from it uh, have actually been quite pleasing. It is not the highest grade uh, lens that uh, Focaliner offered. Um, so this is the Scopar lens. For example, on the uh, Besa that would have been the second uh, cheapest lens uh, available. So there's the Helomar. Uh, lens below it. Then the standard option that is more affordable and uh, more common on Focaliner cameras is usually the Scopar lens. So uh, I wasn't uh, expecting excellent results uh, and they are a little on the soft side. Quick interlude, it is now two days later uh, and I decided to refilm some of the footage from this uh, video because I was uh, probably unnecessarily uh, harsh on the Vito. Um, I took this out uh, over the past couple days uh, and uh, shot a, uh, an entire roll of uh, Ultra Max through it and I uh, like the results uh, a lot more than anything I've previously gotten from it. So um, I think having a rangefinder, I recently got an external rangefinder uh, that I just uh, stick to the top of the Vito with a magnet um, and having that uh, just completely change the results I come to expect from this camera. I previously thought that it was kind of uh, soft, especially when wide open, but with the rangefinder on there and obviously uh, metering more 
properly, uh, I actually got really, really nice results. So um, this is uh, the Vito uh, at open at uh, 3.5. This is at 5.6. And uh, this is at 11, but unfortunately I had a little mishap in there and I got a double exposure on this frame. Uh, obviously these are extremely good conditions because it's really, really bright and sunny. Uh, but in these good condi conditions, uh, I got really, really good re results. So uh, enjoy the photos. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about this little camera. I enjoyed using it over the uh, course of this weekend and uh, I've really come to like the results that I got from it as well. So I uh, hope you enjoyed them as well. And uh, if you liked it, uh, please hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, turn on notifications because every view counts. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you again.